This is Info Live TV headline news, June 17th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. At least six Palestinian gunmen were killed on Tuesday in a series of Israeli air force strikes on the Gaza Strip, just as Israel and Hamas were in the final stages of an Egyptian-brokered ceasefire deal. Among the dead were five Islamic Jihad terrorists who were killed in an IAF strike on a vehicle in the southern Gaza Strip town of Khan Yunis. Despite the attack, Islamic Jihad has said it would respect a truce as long as Israel reciprocates. A Palestinian official familiar with the Egyptian-brokered truce efforts said a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas will begin on Thursday. The Palestinian official said that the two sides agreed that the implementation of the truce will begin at 6 a.m. on Thursday morning. Hamas and senior Egyptian sources also confirmed that a truce agreement had been reached, but officials in Jerusalem said they could not confirm the report for the time being. The Turkish foreign minister said that indirect peace talks between Israel and Syria are making progress, and both sides have agreed to two more rounds of Turkish-mediated talks next month. The foreign minister added that the latest round of indirect talks were complicated, but expressed hope they could lead to a breakthrough and pledged that Turkey would continue to act as an intermediary as long as both sides showed their commitment to the negotiations. Two settlers from the West Bank settlement of Susia were arrested in connection to an attack on Palestinian shepherds, which took place near Hebron last week. The two men, one of them a minor, were arrested and taken in for questioning by the Hebron district police. According to the police report, four members of a Palestinian family claimed they were assaulted by veiled settlers while they were herding their sheep in the South Mount Hebron area, causing serious injuries to one woman. The United States is pressing for an Israeli withdrawal from a disputed Golan Heights area located on the border with Lebanon, Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice told Arabic newspaper Al Hayat on Sunday. According to the report, Rice told Lebanese leaders during her visit to Beirut that the U.S. would bolster its effort to push Israel to pull out from the Sheba farms. The region is considered Lebanese by the Lebanese government, but is considered Syrian by the United Nations. Israel's consumer price index will rise 3.3 percent in the next 12 months, exceeding the top end of a government's target range, according to a Bank of Israel survey. The previous survey on May 18th had predicted an increase of 3.1 percent over 12 months. According to the new survey, the Bank of Israel governor may raise the lending rate for the second time this year as he tries to bring inflation back into the government's target range of 1 to 3 percent. Thank you for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.